Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the best broccoli cheddar soup. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson and I run the website 365daysofcrockpot.com where I share instant pot and slow cooker recipes with you for every day of the year. And here on YouTube, I share awesome Instant Pot stuff with you every week. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very popular recipe on my website that gets super high reviews from all who make it. People love this soup. They say that it's better than the soup that's at Panera Bread. I'll let you be the judge of that, but I think it is the best broccoli cheese soup out there. And the fact that it only takes a one minute pressure cooking time, that makes it even better. Let's get started with the recipe. I turn my Instant Pot to the saute setting and now it says hot, so I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of butter. We'll let that melt, and then we'll add in one cup of diced onion. We're gonna let that saute for about three minutes. So now I'm gonna add in three cups of water, and then one tablespoon of this better than bouillon chicken base. And it just gives it a lot of flavor. If you can't find um, the better than bouillon, you can just add in three cups of chicken broth instead of um, the water. I cut up two carrots into these like matchstick size pieces. You can also grate the carrots. And then I also um, diced up um, three ribs of celery into a pretty small dice there. And I'm adding that in. And then I coarsely chopped heaping four cups of broccoli that I'm going to add in. This is fresh broccoli. I haven't tried this with frozen, but I'm sure frozen would work fine too. Then um, I'm going to turn off that saute setting and put the lid on and then set the pressure cook button um, to one minute. Once you can, remove the lid and give it a quick stir. Then you're going to take one fourth cup of butter and melt it and add in one fourth cup of flour into that butter. Now you're just going to add a tablespoon at a time and whisk it really good until it gets um, smooth with no lumps in it. Then dip a uh, measuring cup into your Instant Pot and pull out a couple, you know, a cup or so of that mixture and then stir it really well with the flour mixture. And it's gonna thicken up your pot really well. You'll wanna turn your Instant Pot to the saute setting and that way the flour taste will cook out of that, uh, that mixture and it will thicken up your soup at the same time. At this point, let's add in two cups of milk. Now I've warmed up this milk so that it's not um, it doesn't curdle. If you don't warm up your milk, you're going to want to add in some of the hot liquid into the milk to temper it so that it doesn't curdle. And we're just going to stir this and let it simmer um, until it thickens up. At that point, you can turn off your Instant Pot and add in two cups of grated cheddar cheese. And mine is sharp cheddar. I like the flavor. And then I'm adding in kosher salt and a little bit of freshly ground pepper for flavor. Um, once it gets thick and creamy, you can, um, and all the cheese is melted, you can serve this delicious soup up. It is a treat. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you'll like and subscribe. And if you want more soup recipes, make sure to go to the link in the description below for 20 more Instant Pot soups.